Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm gonna review these Baby Trend stroller and car seat. But uh, the reason I'm doing it as well as a pair is because they work together. The uh, car seat actually attaches into the stroller. And so I'm gonna talk about a few things I've noticed. I've owned these for six months now, so this is gonna be a good review rather than just unboxing it and saying that it's good. I'm gonna show you the things on them that uh, you wanna know, some of the things that might break. Uh, some of the things that might annoy you. So I'm gonna go uh, over these kind of one by one and then together um, But uh, anyway, this is uh, the stroller and car seat review Okay, so for the car seat uh, this is meant to be a uh, you know rear-facing car seat uh, And it's worked pretty well for that. Uh, it does have a place to put a lap belt through the bottom of it that goes over the over the top um, but this also comes with a carrier, which I'll show you that's in the car locked down. I'll, I'll kind of show you how that works too. But uh, the thing about this is it has a really nice handle for holding in different positions. It has that triangle handle that you've probably seen on other car seats. Um, but uh, the things that we didn't quite like about this, um, mainly on my, on my wife's end, she complains about how hard it is to push both of these buttons at the same time to get this to retract. Okay, so if you can go see one of these in the showroom, you might want to look at that first. Uh, she always complains that, uh, especially when she's sitting in the passenger seat, because this sits in the middle of our Yukon. So as she reaches over, you know, with one hand she can pinch this one, but as she's reaching way over here and trying to uh, pinch that one, it, she says it's really difficult. Uh, a tip for that is if you can kind of, as you're pushing the button, kind of go forward and back, you kind of find the sweet spot where you can collapse it and then it comes down. Uh, the only problem, which I'll show you, I got a video of, is when it's in the car, uh, these, see it, hear that? Okay, when you're driving down the road, it's really annoying because you just keep hearing that. Every little bump you hit on both sides, you hear that bouncing around, and you want to turn around and stop it. So uh, that's kind of a, these are not a very good design. One, they're too hard to push, and two, they bounce around way too much. Okay, uh, the next thing is this part here that folds up, the, the canopy. Uh, it's good in the way where it will allow you to go all the way forward here quite a bit. And you can see the baby. Uh, so if you're in the car and this is folded down, uh, you'll be able to see the baby's head looking up at you. However, you kind of can do that with this down this way. And so the problem you have is I'll show you clips here. My little girl will grab this. She's six months old, so you know, just a few months in, she was already grabbing this and trying to push it down. And when she gets it down here, she'll put her feet right here on the inside and she will kick. And when she does that, you can see since this has already come off, it, it comes off and breaks. So um, I don't know if it's good news or bad news, you can take this and very easily line it back up and pop it back on. So maybe it's good news that it comes off so easily and can be, you know, it's not permanently broken per se, but it's pretty annoying to have to keep having to clip these back in because uh, she's just gonna kick it. So uh, that's, uh, that's this one here. Other than that, it's been pretty good. Um, I've carried it quite a bit with her in it. It has these different positions for the handle and uh, that's, worked out, uh, that's worked out pretty good. Okay, now down in the seat, you know, when you're, when you're putting the baby in, um, I just tuck these away under the sides. I think they should have some kind of a way to keep these out of the way. 
But uh, anyway, I just tucked those in there to set the baby in. But uh, something to keep in mind is there's holes down here, obviously, for the seat belt to go in. And your baby, whether you like it or not, is going to have a blaster at some point. And uh, it goes down in here pretty bad. You have to take this whole cover off and down in there there's a lot of places for it to catch it. So it's good in a way, it's bad in a way. Uh, at least it's not going all over your car. But um, I don't know, there really isn't too much they can do. The seatbelt does have to go down in there. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, something my wife complains about is uh, on these, okay, to put it together you make your little puzzle piece Okay, those come together and it snaps in, no problem. Okay, and I know that this is a child safety thing, but this button is really hard to push, even for my wife. Uh, she'll ask me if I can push this button several times. You know, if, as we're getting home, she says, can you just get in there and push this button? So maybe they uh, could redesign this to be you know, child proof to where there's, you know, a certain way of opening it rather than just straight too hard to push thing. So I know where they're coming from it and I'm, I understand it's a safety thing, but it takes quite a bit of pressure to push that button down. So, um, for my wife, it's kind of hard for her. She says that this is a little too stiff. So, uh, just something you should know about that. And so if you, if you see one of these car seats, in a showroom, these are the things that you should look for. Make sure you can push the button, um, rattle it around, and look at the things that, uh, that I've shown you so far. Okay, so this is the base that uh, you can buy with this, and it it's really nice. You only have to really strap it down once. That's kind of the nice feature of it, so it's ready to go anytime that you want to put the car seat in and out. Um, the way that it goes in is it just basically sits down in cradles and in the front and the back you'll hear it click. So it uh, does have a nice firm connection and uh, is, it's really nice the way that that works. The release on it is in the very front so you have to reach in here. You have to reach your hand here and you pull forward but it releases pretty easy and comes on out and so it just kind of locks down into place so that's pretty good uh, once again you're gonna get these buttons rattling you know these this rattles you're going down the road especially when it's in the down position but as I mentioned it's really hard to reach across and push down on that farther button and this one at the same time they require some pretty good uh, force to do that so anyway that's a uh, pretty much inside the car and outside the car. Okay, so moving on to the stroller. I like the stroller a lot better than the car seat. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, it has some good and bad about it, which we'll go over now. I really like that before the child's old enough to sit in it like a regular stroller, uh, these tabs right by the cup holders is where the bottom of the car seat clips in. So this just drops right into place. And now you have uh, your car seat uh, basically in your stroller. So that makes it really easy to move around. Okay, so you have to fold this down in order to use this, which is fine. Um, then the baby can either be covered by the car seat's shade, which is nice, or it does have a shade here on its own that comes up. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this shade is you open it up here, you're only going to be able to see the baby's feet really. So they probably should have put this up higher here where you can actually see the baby's face. As I'm going on walks, I have this open. I want to see if she's awake or you know if she's spit up, anything like that. And you really can't see much, so that's kind of uh, annoying. It has a little holder here for your phone or whatnot, Some diaper wipes, whatever, and it makes a nice little cubby there and has drink holder cups which have come in handy. But you can see you get good coverage here for the baby um, if you want the baby to be shaded. 
then that all works uh, pretty well. Uh, in the front, it has a little lock here, so you just pull this up and that wheel will lock for running so that it doesn't get all wobbly on you, which is a nice feature. And you just push that back down and you're unlocked and ready to go. Um, the inflatable tires on this make it really nice. Uh, pushing this around, you know, at uh, Kohl's or department stores, you have good maneuverability with that third wheel up in the front moving. And it's just really quiet and really soft for the baby. Um, the bigger wheels help out compared to a regular stroller, that's nice. You have brakes here on each side that push down and lock, and those are nice. They are a little hard to get back up. It kind of hurts if you're going to do it. I mean, not like you're going to be barefoot or whatever, but I kind of worry about ruining the tips of my shoes by lifting up on that because I have some, you know, nice shoes that I like, and so it is a little sharp down there. But, uh, Next, the uh, folding part of it. Uh, we'll go ahead and remove this. It's the same thing. You just pull that handle there and it releases really nice. So we'll set this out of the way. And uh, folding it up, it folds up nicely, but I'll show you what I, what I don't like about when it's, uh, when it's folded up. Okay, so folding it up is done by putting your finger in a ring on each side over here. And you pull it up and it folds down like this. Okay, so it folds up pretty nicely, but then uh, when you put it inside the car, you have kind of the dirty wheels kind of rolling all over the place. So it's not, uh, I don't know really what you do about that, but uh, that's what it looks like folded up. And uh, it's not too heavy. You can put it up inside of your car, but uh, anyway, just uh, that's where the bigger wheels kind of come uh, as a disadvantage is now you have big dirty wheels that have been all over everywhere uh, just kind of facing up inside the car but uh, you know it, you don't really want to put it face down as you could like that okay and it has a nice little storage compartment in the bottom that's come in handy. Um, I haven't really put too many heavy items down in there, so I'm not sure how uh, durable it is, but it kind of works. So anyway, that's uh, the stroller. I really like how smooth it is. It's really nice to, you know, go around the, the department stores and have the nice wheels for it. So uh, I have put the baby in it uh, without the car seat and it's fine. It's reclined a little bit but that uh, is adjustable. So um, it, the seat part portion can come up you know, a little bit. I just don't see it being too strong though when the baby's heavy and how it's held up. And so um, anyway, for a younger baby, I think it's gonna work out pretty good, but uh, I'm not so sure once you get into the toddler stage. Okay, so with some real finessing and pushing, you probably can fit this inside of some smaller trunks. This is in a Mustang, and this actually doesn't have the uh, upgraded um, audio tray that a lot of the Mustangs do have, so it would really have a hard time fitting into something like this. I'll show it to you in the uh, Yukon now. Okay, so to fit inside of an SUV or something like that, you're going to have plenty of room. It's going to fit just fine, but... Uh, yeah, it's just what it is with these big wheels. A plan, you know, if you have other stuff that you're putting in here, it's going to get dirty. But uh, that's the compromise you have for the bigger wheels. And I forgot to mention, uh, our Yukon is the shorter wheelbase one too, so it's not as long as the XL version in case you want to know for uh, depth for that uh, stroller in the back of it.